Hi. For a few moments, I'm going to talk about um, a film that came out just this year. Um, it was completely out of the blue, completely unexpected, and I should really keep a, an eye on films a bit better than this, to be honest. But it's a sequel to a film that came out a few years ago. In 2014, The Equaliser was released. Denzel Washington. And I went to see it, of course. And I was wondering what it would be like, because, of course, there is the TV show, which was on years back, which ran for four seasons. I think it was five. I can't remember. And that was just brilliant. But, of course, the movie was never going to have that famous opening, of course, you know, Stuart Copeland's opening. And, well, it was a big screen version, so it was bound to be quite different, but still the essence of The Equaliser. So I went to see the original film, and I do remember it. Um, I loved it. This year, the sequel was released, and I had no idea about it. Yeah, The Equaliser 2 was released this year, and I saw it um, just recently. I think it was about a month ago now, actually. Yeah. A few weeks ago, yeah. And apparently it's the first sequel of Denzel Washington's career, which I found amazing. And yeah, now I realise, yeah, he hasn't done a sequel before, which was astonishing. Um, so, yeah, I did go and see it. I kind of knew deep down that it would be at least really decent. I couldn't see myself hating it, you know. Um... Because you can, you know, he nearly always delivers, doesn't he, Denzel? And I did go and see it, and I saw it three times. The original film I saw twice, by the way. But yeah, it was brilliant. I actually think it's better than the original. And for a sequel to be able to achieve that kind of greatness is quite something. You know, sequels are often kind of looked down upon, well is there any need for it, you know, can it be anywhere near as good as the original, yeah well so many have said that over so many sequels over the years, but they can be really good, when they're not they're not good when, they're only made for the sake of it, they're only made for the money right but in many cases they're not and there are some great underrated sequels out there but The Equalizer 2 was a brilliant sequel it um, expanded on the character, took it a little further, and I also got the impression that with the original, it kind of grabbed a few little ideas from the series, because you know, it ends with him on his laptop, uh, looking at emails, you know, from his uh, from his obvious online advert, you know, because it's all online nowadays, in the series it was a newspaper, of course. But, um, you know, at the end he's looking at his responses to his online ad, you know, odds against you, you know, do you need help? And then there's a yes, and it kind of took that, I think, from the series. That's kind of the set, because it was the, the original film, it was... Um, the first big screen out of The Equaliser, I suppose it wanted to establish itself in that way, you know. The sequel seems to stand more on its own feet, say, you know he's The Equaliser now, we're going to take the story further. And it really was a cracker, you know. Personally, I cannot wait for it to come out on Blu-ray, but um, I am going to get it. I'm going to get it on, I'm going to pre-order it on US Edition, which I know will cost a fortune. I've got the original on US edition, right? I did have it on the UK one, but I prefer US editions. So when it comes out, I am going to pre-order it. It'll probably come out probably about the end of the year, because I think it was released about a couple of months ago, so... Or about a month ago or something like that, I don't know. It ran for a little while. So hopefully when it does come out, I will um, definitely get it. I mean, I don't care how much it costs. Making my little birthday present to me, because my birthday's in December. But yeah, it was um, an absolute cracker. I absolutely loved the sequel. And it's the best film of the year for me. Don't think anything else will beat it. 
the other thing is, I couldn't help but wonder. I still can't. As a film, it is brilliant, you know. But of course, there's uh, nothing in it really from the, sh the original show. But um, as great as Denzel as Denzel. Denzel Washington is great in it, of course. He is pure Robert McCall. He is a, he is a brilliant big screen version of the Equalizer character. And love that type of thing. Love that, what they call him, the, the Equalizer. It's just so... It just really packs a punch. But I cannot help but wonder what Edward Woodward would have thought of it. I thought of that a few times, you know. Yeah, the great Edward Woodward from the original from the original um, television show. If he was still around, I believe you know he's in his next life now. But uh, yeah, if he was still around, I'd love to have asked him, or you know, maybe if he'd have seen it. What do you think of it? How would you have seen it? But um, of course, we'll never know. But um, it would be fascinating to know uh, what the great Edward Woodward would have thought of the Equalizer uh, movies. Um, Hopefully I think he would have been proud. But yeah, that's all. Yeah, thanks a lot. Anyway, cheers. Bye.